Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm Byron Broussard, and it's too early in the morning. God bless you. I hope you're doing all right today. I've got a word that comes from the first book in the Bible. Are you one of those people who is directed and protected by God? I found a young man. He was young then. His name is Joseph, and God had divine destiny, a plan mapped out for him. But there was a path to the plan, and it was rough. Yours might be also. So you might want to lean in and listen. It may bless you and help you figure out how to navigate some of the situation that you're in right now. If you look at the first part of the story, in the 37th chapter and the 19th verse of Genesis, it kind of looks bad. It says, behold this dreamer coming. Now, you know, that's not a lot. That's not bad. Well, his brothers were very jealous of him because his father favored him, even blessed him with this coat, beautiful coat, lots of color in it. And he was young and naive, so he bragged on the coat. He even told them about a dream he had where they would bow down to him. That's not a good dream to tell your jealous brothers. It ended up with them throwing him down in a hole, selling him to some people, and lying to their father, bringing back a robe that was uh, dipped in goat's blood, saying something happened to him. They don't know what the deal is, but he's gone. So uh, the young boy is now gone away from his family, separated from his father. All the protection and all the love and affection that he's used to has been removed. But he's put into a political position, a powerful position eventually, and uh, if you go all the way to verse 45 or chapter 45 and verse 56, there's another verse that says, God sent me. He said, don't worry about it. This is how it actually reads in chapter 45 and uh, verse 5. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. Lord, have mercy. Uh, this is the deal. There was a famine in the homeland that he was born in, his father and his brothers lived in, and uh, he'd been sent to Egypt, sold into Egypt, and eventually becomes a governor, a powerful man there. So he's telling them, don't worry about what you did. It was low down, rotten, awful, and dirty. And uh, you did mean it for evil, but God meant it for good because he used you. He used you to get me to Egypt. Now, guess what? There's food in Egypt, and I'm going to feed my daddy and even my rotten brothers. Well, that's how God does sometimes. In order to provide, he directs and protects us through some difficult situations. That might be you and your testimony right now. Let's pray about it. Father, in Jesus' name, sometimes we don't understand why things go the way they go. People do the things they do, but in the end, your plan is revealed, and we ought just give you the praise and glory for being involved in the powerful things that you have planned for our lives. I pray that you show someone that that's exactly what's going on with their life today. Lift them and encourage them. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. You have a good day. It's Tuesday. Be a blessing all day long. You're directed and protected. That's what's going on with you. Don't miss it. Hallelujah. Peace.